Good evening. We have come to learn that there is an outbreak of the virus, Miscellinia misinforma. I have consulted with our team of experts and we have come to learn through diligent research that this deadly virus can be safely contained without any further harm to the embroidery population. Please follow the following Embroidery Studio safety instructional video to ensure that you do not come into contact with or contract the deadly virus, Miscellinia misinforma. Lining up embroidery isn't very difficult. It just takes some time and pre-planning. One of the projects that I'm going to show you um, us lining up today is a hoodie. I had an order for 18 hoodies to embroider. There's a central logo that's going to go on the front of the shirt here. But the one that we're going to line up together on the machine is on the sleeve. So there is some embroidery, small embroidery that's going to go on the sleeve of the shirt just below the cuff. You would think that would be kind of difficult to line up, but it really isn't. So give me a sec, let's get it set up and we'll start doing the embroidery on the sleeve over on the machine. I mentioned previously that we were putting the small embroidery that you see here, it's just the word stop, on the back of the sleeve of the sweatshirt. The way the customer requested is we alternate sleeves. So the right sleeve, the word will be right side up. The left sleeve, the word will be upside down. So that means I have to line up the design on two different sleeves, okay? So we're gonna start with the first one. And with the first sleeve, what I want to show with the lineup, I am going to be uh, doing the alignment right along the stitching line here, exactly one millimeter below the stitching line. So that being the case, I want to be sure that the top of the embroidery is one millimeter down. Well, how do I determine the top of the embroidery? Well, with this particular machine, it's very simple. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to select the top. Okay, so this is the top of the design. This is the middle of the design and this is the bottom of the design, all right? So I'm gonna go to the top of the design and when we move over here to the embroidery field, now I've already done one up here, so I'm gonna move the top of the embroidery down below this one. So in order to do that, I have to come to the keypad and press the down arrow. I'm gonna fast forward it. And as you see over here, it moved it down below where I've already done it. So let's move it up a little bit. You see right there, it's in the middle of it. So I'm going down below so that I have room for this particular embroidery. Now, because this embroidery is right side up, that's on the right side of the hoodie. So I'm gonna use the right sleeve. So I'm going to, remember this is lined up with the top of the embroidery. And let's go back to that screen. This is the top. And that's where I'm gonna line this up. So I'm gonna slip this over the embroidery arm and I'm going to put it on roughly about the one millimeter mark. I know it's gonna need some adjustment because I can tell by looking at it. So let's put the ruler down. And in putting the ruler down, do you see where the laser dot lines up with the ruler? It's a little over half of a millimeter. And you, if you don't have um, the laser light, you can always pull the embroidery foot down to take a look at about where the embroidery needle is going to hit. So being that I'm looking at this and that's not at the one millimeter mark, I'm gonna move it down some. So I'm going to nudge it slower. So I did the middle one and I'm going to go down to one 
millimeter. So you see it's lined up there. Now I didn't mark anything on this sleeve. So let's go to the right side and make sure that the right top is lined up one millimeter, the farthest over right that it'll go. And as you see, it lines up. So now let's go to the far top left and we're going to put the ruler down. And as you see, that's a smidge above or smidge below rather one millimeter. So I'm going to actually adjust not the machine, but the sleeve because oh, the middle and the right was fine. It's this over here that was wrong. So in moving the sleeve up, I moved it a little bit too much. So I'm going to pull it down just a tad to get that lined up at the one millimeter mark. And so now all the way across my embroidery lines up where it's supposed to. So this is a very simple way to get your embroidery aligned from the top. And then of course, see the middle kind of didn't matter, but I could have done it from the middle by measuring from the middle. But I wanted to make sure that the top of the embroidery was gonna line up the exact same way because even when I flip this embroidery design is going to line up one millimeter from the top there as well. So since we have it lined up, we're gonna go ahead and stitch this out. Now that the embroidery has completed, we're going to switch sleeves. So this is the right sleeve and I'm going to be careful in tearing this off to make sure that I don't tear down here because that's where we're going to embroider uh, the next embroidery on the opposite sleeve. So just like we did over here with the um, embroidery right side up, what we're going to do is switch that. So we're going to rotate it. And now that that's rotated, what I'm going to do is bring down the, um, the laser light or to line it up in this section down here. So I've made it go fast and I'll hold this down to make it come down. And remember we're at the top should be no, we're in the middle. So let's make it at the top so that I can ensure that up here is not going to come into contact with this part. And I'm actually going to bring it down just a little bit more because I don't want to be too terribly close because as you see, that moves around a, a good bit, whereas that's a little more stable. And so now that I have that in place, we're going to switch sleeves. So let me get, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to bump the camera. So let me get the sleeve, put it on. And again, I'm still going to line this up about one millimeter down. Now that I'm one millimeter down, I'm going to use the ruler to see, and that's a little farther than one millimeter. So I'm going to make a quick adjustment and then I'm going to put this on the medium speed. Oh, well, actually, if I lay it right there, it lines up instead of pushing it up against it. So laying it right against that stitch line, it is one millimeter. So let me go to the far left and try it again. And notice that definitely is off. So again, because I have it correct on the middle, I'm only going to move the sleeve to line it up. And now we have it lined up on this side. Now let's check the far right top. And notice the far right top is lined up pretty much on point where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna double check and get that, just a slight adjustment. And now we have it lined up at the top where it's supposed to be. We already flipped the design around as you see here. So we're gonna close that out and we're going to go into sewing. And I'm going to confirm by looking at my outfit to make sure I'm doing the right sleeve. I'm doing it on the right side, um, the back side of the sleeve. I'm sorry, the left sleeve, but on the back side of the sleeve. 
and we're going to go ahead and tell it to start stitching. So now I can give my customer a call and let him know that that was his final shirt and now all of his shirts are done. So lining up the sleeves wasn't too terribly difficult. The same principle applies even with the alignment here on the front of the shirt. The only difference that I did with this that I didn't take a moment to show you is that I actually drew the center line and the center line here, the cross axis on the front of the shirt to help me line it up. And it worked the exact same way as we did with the backs of the sleeves. And so here we have both sleeves um, now embroidered on the back and they look very uniform because I made sure that the one millimeter um, space from the cuff was there. So here uh, we have a completed um, hoodie for the customer and now what we'll do is move on to lining up a pocket on a book bag. Our next project that we're going to line up is a book bag pocket. Now I've already marked this particular bag and put the lines there for me to use in lining up the six needle machine, um, which I currently have one bag going now. And as soon as that bag is done, we're going to switch and do this one and we'll line it up um, just like we did the cuffs or the sleeves on the hoodie sweatshirts earlier. Now we'll be doing the bag. So as soon as that particular bag is done, we'll switch over to the machine. Now we're going to put the, um, this burgundy bag on there. And I have my lines already marked. Same principle as it was with the um, sleeves on the shirts. And I'm going to line this up find the center point and I'm using sticky stabilizer so if you see me doing this it's because I'm trying to get it to stick on the center point and not move so I have it lined up in the center just by me putting the bag on here and lining it up and I want to make sure that it's lined up this way as well so I'm going to come over to the machine and I'm going to get my alignment pulled up again now with this, I'm not having to line up the book bag with a seam because this is a centered uh, design, whereas on the sleeve, it was centered. So I needed to find the top, um, the top of the design over here on the screen because I was trying to line it up, whereas over here it's centered. So I don't need to do the top lines, but I do still want to make sure that it's centered right to left. So we're going to hit the right button and as I watch this, it does follow the line centrally all the way across and then we're going to go all the way to the opposite side. It's a little bit off over here. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but the dot is above the line over here. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to pull from the top and see if I can't get that to sit on the line, which it did. So now we have this lined up the way I want it to. Very simple. It wasn't much to it. This is going to be your friend when it comes to lining up your embroidery designs. And again, if you don't have the laser light, you definitely can pull the needle bar down and see about where that needle is going to hit. Now it's a little more not quite on point with the pulling the needle down, but it still works. It at least lets you know that you're in the general area of where you want to be for embroidery. And even still, what you can do is turn the hand wheel in the back of the machine and put the needle down close to the fabric. And that will also show you how close you are 
um, instead of just pulling this down you can actually let the needle down close to the fabric and see where your central point is so now that we have that in I'm done it's time to hit sewing lock the machine because I've already stitched this out everything's in place and we're going to go we are done so I am going to take this off of the machine the next bag I want to show you the customer had one last bag that she requested to have all three continents put on the bag. So I want to show you how that turned out. Now this actually is an alignment problem and I'll show you why. So the alignment problem with this bag is the design itself was about seven in I'm sorry six and six inches wide okay so six inches was too big for my four by five hoop uh, fast frame so that meant I had to use my seven by seven frame well the seven by seven frame barely fit in the pocket as you can see all right so because it barely fit in the pocket for me to embroider on it um, once I put it on the embroidery arm it you know moved the bag and it wouldn't let me embroider the design okay because the hoop was too big so that meant I had to figure a way to hoop each one of these separately because what I couldn't hoop with the uh, large fast frame I could hoop each individual one with the small fast frame okay well how do you line that up what I did in this instance is the exact same thing I did with the other bags I drew my center line but the difference with this one is I printed out a template all right this is a template from off of Sew so It Pro. This template, if you go into Sew so It Pro and you pull up your design, you can click on print up in the uh, top menu. And when you select print, there's a small checkbox in the print dialog box that says print template only. And that's what I did here. I printed out the template. The template is here to help me line up the designs on the bag what i did was cut it down to a more manageable size because all i really need when lining up the design is the crosshairs for the most part and the whole design the crosshairs and the whole design so i just wanted just the bare minimum of what I needed to line up the design okay so what I ended up doing and how I lined this up was I got my bag and I lined up see how this center line I'm lining up here and then I did the same thing with the center line over there and I did this with the up and down center line in the middle and that allowed me to mark on the bag where the center of this one was 
and where the center of this one was because the center of this one was already marked sorry the center of this one was already marked but I needed to mark the center of that and the center of that so that is what this line is here this is the center of the last design which is this design here okay so now I can put this on the machine and line it up with this center line and the crossway center line and get the design where it needs to be on this bag sounds simple it takes a lot of patience but it can be done so let me adjust the camera back to the machine so that we can get this last design stitched out so we're going to line this up on the fast frame like i did all the other designs today so i have the center point and i have my finger there to hold it in place because this is a lot bulkier um and it's on the edge it's and the pocket is retarded on this particular bag i don't know why it's buckling like that but it's like the pocket is mismade or something to that effect but I'm gonna have to babysit this unfortunately so I'm gonna line this up here and do the exact same thing that I've done everywhere else with all the other designs so I'm gonna hold this in place and I'm going to come to my alignment it's centered so now we're going to hit the align to the right and it's wanting to move this bag so I'm going to have to be really careful how I hold on to this bag. And I'm fighting this bag. So what I'm going to do is cut the camera, clip this, but it's getting it lined up, this bag, because of the way it's retarded. I'm going to have to buckle this bag down to keep it staying in place. Okay, so I'm going to adjust that. But as you see over here, this is how you adjust your designs. I want to thank you for taking a moment to follow the instructional video for the Embroidery Studio Safety Procedures. The Miscellanea Misinforma virus is quite serious. And although the instructional video ended abruptly, please rest assured that our videographer nor the actor did not contract the deadly virus because they did follow the procedures outlined in our studio instructional safety video. Here is an image of the completed project that they were last working on. Please be sure to follow this studio safety instructional video when working on your next project in your studio. Use this instructional video to remain safe and happy embroidery. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to view other videos in our tutorial playlist. And click here for the next video that you should find helpful. Thank you.